The Association of Southeast Asia Nation. Home for more than 650 million people, of which 47% are living in urban area, as driven by economic growth, it is expected that by 2030, 90 million people will be added in major cities, and drive 40% of the region's growth. However, due to rapid urbanization, it has implications on important issues such as, city congestion, water, air quality, poverty, rising inequalities, urban-rural division, citizen security and safety. Technological, digital and innovative solutions, can be utilized to resolve these issues, and to enhance quality, and accessibility of services, thereby improving our citizens' lives across the urban-rural continuum. Initiative of creating smart cities across the region, like the well-planned Forest City and Medini City of Malaysia, and the biggest urban development in ASEAN, the Philippines' new Clark City, that bring innovative solution of the problems encountered in urban living, but today, we will feature not just a digital and a smart city, but also cities with futuristic concept, centralized artificial intelligence, and highly integrated with nature, here are the three futuristic cities in ASEAN. First in the list, the Penang Biodiver City of Malaysia, Biodiver City, is a reclaimed three artificial islands, built off the shore of Penang Island Malaysia, connected by an autonomous transport network. The vast land reclamation project, which will encompass 1,821 hectares, is being developed by BRK Ingalls Group for Penang State Government, in collaboration with Ramble and local architect Hias. It consists of three islands, the channels, mangroves, and laguna. Each island is modeled on the form of a lily pad, and will include about 2.86 miles of beaches, 600 acres of parks, and 15.5 miles of waterfront, all while integrating parts of Malaysian culture. The first island in the master plan is called Channels. This will comprise the Civic Heart, an area for government and research institutions, and the cultural coast district that will resemble Penang State's capital, Georgetown. Mangroves is the second and central island of Biodiver City, which will be dedicated to business-focused districts. At its center will be the Bamboo Beacon, a facility for conferences and major events. The final island, named the Laguna, is described by Big as a miniature archipelago, and will be composed of eight smaller islands organized around a central marina. It comprises floating, stilted and terraced housing for residents, and will also provide spawning grounds for aquatic life, to help develop new marine habitats. The island, will be largely be constructed using a combination of bamboo, Malaysian timber, and green concrete, that uses recycled materials as aggregate. The island districts, are expected to each support between 15,000 to 18,000 residents, and will all rely on localized water resources, renewable energy, and waste management. They will also be connected, by an autonomous water, air and land-based transportation network, to make Biodiver City a car-free environment. Prioritizing bikers, and pedestrians, around the buildings and districts, will be a web of ecological corridors called buffers, which range between 50 and 100 meters, and be used as nature reserves and parks, to support biodiversity. Biodiver City, will be a new sustainable global destination, where cultural, ecological, and economic growth, is secure, and where people and nature, coexist in one of the most biodiverse places on the planet, at the southern shore of Penang Island. The goal of Biodiver City, is to create a global destination, that facilitates sustainable economic, and cultural growth of Penang Island, while protecting the biodiversity of its coastal zones, and natural habitats. Going to the Philippines, the future city of the Philippines will be located in Batangas, southern island of Luzon, roughly 70 kilometers, outside the capital city of Manila, its 44,000 square meter total land area, fragments into 14 land use and 11 districts, populated by numerous structures inspired by meta-modern and neo-futurist architecture, which envisioned to form the Philippines' model city of the future, one entirely powered by waste materials, this is the Millennium City, at the core of its planning and design approach, are the principles of inclusivity, futurism, resilience, and sustainability. This smart global city, will be based on high-tech systems, and the collection of data, to be used for monitoring and evaluating future developments based on impact assessments. 
Among these are communal green spaces lined with intelligent systems, designed with actuators that respond to collected data on lighting, movements, weather conditions, air quality, and other environmental information, from self-driving service drone cars, charging stations, delivery services, to surveillance drones. Drone-based technology is beneficial for efficient data acquisition and delivery while ensuring speed and safety. The city is highly integrated with advanced mass transport system like Metro Rail Transit MRT, bullet train linkages and international hub airports. Millennium City incorporates new types of Metro Rail Transit systems, where an integrated above-ground and subterranean train loops connect from airports to every major district nodes in the city. Divided into eight train loops, distances between each station range from 4 to 15 kilometers. For shorter distances, other modes of transport, such as trams and electric powered vehicles, are also available. It will also feature the multi lane roads, with dedicated tree lined sidewalks, and cycle routes aimed to encourage both pedestrian and vehicular mobility throughout the city. A clearly defined green spine runs throughout the city. It serves as an environmental strategy, wherein parcels of land dedicated Dedicated to parks, and urban agriculture are distributed at strategic points. Apart from sustainable landscapes and revival of garden parks, Millennium City also provides environmentally controlled interconnected passageways, named the City Room. The first of its kind in the country, the protected corridors serve as an indoor plaza, with views and access to surrounding building infrastructure. Hermetically served avenues connect their adjacent towers, shopping centers, and open spaces underground. In addition, retractable glass roofing systems seal the city room into a safe and pleasantly secure enclosure. Millennium City is powered by its very own waste-to-energy facility, the first of its kind in the history of solid waste management. It features a fully automated system, with three core processes of waste regeneration, sorting, transporting, and storing. Inside, melting technologies through a smokeless incinerator, showcase the thermochemical decomposition of organic material at elevated temperatures. These result in a biologically, and environmentally safe waste to energy production, in addition to harnessing solid waste. Millennium City, as a model for sustainable living seeks to ensure that all possible energy resources, reach their full potential. Our wastewater treatment facility aims, to provide automated machinery for bar screening, clarifying, disinfecting, and water testing and processing safe effluent disposal, and recycling. Whereas energy from the wind and the sun are cumulatively farmed by solar wind hybrid alternative energy harvesters, Millennium City is geared up for its futuristic aims in heightening national development as well as to strengthen every Filipino's cultural pride by being culturally rooted in the country's courageous past. Included in the list is the Forest Archipelago City, the new administrative city of Indonesia. The stunning renderings of the new city, entitled Negara Rimba Nusa, will be the focus of the country's new capital city, in East Kalimantan on Borneo Island. Urban Plus Winning Design, which translates to Forest and Island Hilltop, and was inspired by the Indonesian Archipelago, that features the Indonesian Presidential Palace, and the Unity and Diversity Plaza. The design, places the Presidential Palace, the new parliament and judiciary complexes in the north, a business district in the center, and housing in the south. It will also have an artificial lake, surrounded by monuments, a religious center, and a plaza. The inspiration for the new city filled with electric vehicles, modern monorails, and drone taxis is a new smart city, with the newest technology, a clean city featuring a lot of artificial intelligence. The 632,580-acre site is four times the size of Jakarta, and will start construction in the coming months. It was intentionally made it a compact city design, so places will be close to one another. It aims for 50 minutes walk from one end to the other end with several reasons for relocation, including the overly congested Jakarta, with 30 million people, including those in the metropolitan zone. It is also prone to earthquakes and flooding, and is rapidly sinking due to the uncontrolled extraction of underground water. 
More recently, monsoon rains, and rising rivers, have left several hundred thousand residents displaced. A shocking 40% of the city, currently lies under sea level, with many neighborhoods sinking 7 inches a year, forcing the government to build a giant sea barrier in Jakarta Bay. In this regard Indonesia need a resilient city, which is away from natural disaster, smart, digital and futuristic city, which is highly integrated with the surrounding ecological environment.